Okay, I've got another project for the Versus. I've got some angle iron made up to bolt in here. And this is going to support my Pelican case over there. And to make up the difference between this being underneath this rack plate, the top of the rack, I've cut some bushing stock and that will go right there, one on each side when I bolt that pelican case on. Now, once this is finished, I'll have just one plate for all these bolts, and they'll all be the same, but uh, that's how it bolts up right now. And your question is probably, what are these holes for? Well, Those holes are to mount this. And that is a PVC fishing pole holder. Well, I skipped a couple steps, but I don't like how this is turning out. How it's going to work is these are going to bolt on to those. It'll be at an angle away from the Pelican case. But I don't, I don't know. What was in my head was different than what I have here for parts, and I don't really like this Berkeley design. Uh, the ones that Cabela's have have a cutout, and I'd rather have two instead of three, but this will work until I get the parts in from Cabela's. Well, I got ahead of myself a little bit again, but uh, here's the, uh, the next one I'm building, and it's just going to be a double, so it'll just be one tube on each side. And I'm changing it up a little bit. I've just got angle iron for the front here. And I've got these tabs bolted on the back. And what I'm going to do is take the case off. So I just got this on here to get this lined up. And then I'm going to take some rod from here up to here. Just to keep this, just to keep this from tilting. Okay, there we go. Tack welded in. So... That is what it's going to look like up on the bike, kind of. Just got to weld everything in now. And there it is. I got the tabs welded in, the rod welded in. I just got to do a little bit of buffing on it. And then uh, hit that with another coat of primer. That was kind of stupid painting that. Well, here it is. Uh, I just got two-piece fishing pole so I could get them inside the uh, garage but um, got access to my latches I did end up drilling a hole in the bottom here and using a hacksaw to cut some slots in just so these uh, don't rattle around just got some bungee cords holding them in and uh, it doesn't really block the blinker that much and you can still see the tail light, which is the important one, so I can always hand signal my turns. But, uh, there it is. Um, version 1, anyway. Well, here's the old junker. I cut some notches into it, and uh, it was okay. I mean, it, it worked, but it's going in the trash bucket, because... The right rod holder showed up today. Uh, these are from Cabela's. They're actually Cabela's branded. And they've got the preformed notch and the, the flared opening. And they've got uh, some nice standoffs that you can mount them a few different ways. But uh, I've just got two of them on here. And I, I like this, this bracketry a lot better than the other one. It'll be easier to line everything up and get it bolted to the bike. Um, I, I also welded some rings on the bottom here uh, just so I have something to tie to to keep the rods from bouncing out. Um, I did notice uh, with the, the rods in the other one anyway that if I have a sinker on the line, um, I'll, I'll show you over here, on my, my catfish pole I have a one ounce sinker and this actually wiggled the, the little uh, stink bait lure here loose and it was flying behind me 
Um, I, I just had to tighten up the, the string on it and then it, uh, it stayed on so I wasn't hooking oncoming traffic. Uh, still using the same mount here. That other one really gouged it up. And there she is mounted on the bike. I think that looks a lot better than those three white ones. Um, I'm not really worried about weight on the rack. I had a, a top case on here before that had blowed up and this definitely always less than that did.